So today I'm here with Nate and we're gonna be doing part two of I'll Never Be Her. This story is by Lily Trescott MSP, so I'll have the original along with Nate's social media in the description down below. He's gonna be voicing the voice today. Thank you so much for joining me. No problem, happy to be and here. And if you haven't watched part one, I will have it in the description down below as well. Huh? Uh, hey Heidi. What are you doing here? I thought I made it clear to you two years ago that I never wanted to speak to you again. Wait, how did you even know I live here? Uh, well, I kind of sort of followed you home. You followed me all the way to my house? What kind of sick neurotic uh, person does that? Uh, shh. Oh, no, I won't shush. Why are you even bothering me and stalking me to my house? So you have a fiance to be dress shopping with? Come on, Heidi. You know I don't love her. What? I love you. I've never stopped loving you. I know you love me too. What? No! Come on, babe. We spent our whole childhood together. High school. We spent our whole time in high school together. Whatever. My point is that whoever your new lover is, you know guys don't have the same connection you and I had together. The same spark, the same energy, the same love. You and I were meant for each other, Heidi. I need you and you need me. So please, you be mine again. I... What am I doing? He cheated on me and left me on the road with nowhere to go. Hawkins the only reason I'm alive and still smiling today. You're right. My fiance and I don't have the same connection we had together. Because the connection I have with him is stronger. Oh. I'd never leave him for some two-timing deceitful jerk like you. So, I advise you to leave before he comes back from work and gives you a piece of his mind. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Uh, yeah, man. Bruh. That guy. <laughs> You tell what, him. Was, what even was that? Uh, that? That's the most creepy thing ever as well. I mean, oh, don't mind me. Yeah, just casually following you Definitely home. Definitely not creepy at all. <laughs> yeah, never reached out, never said anything. And then after two years, it's like, actually, no, I, I love you more. What was he even talking about? I love you. I've always loved you. <laughs> yeah, right. He obviously is just lying like he always does. But what if he wasn't lying? What if he really does love me? Uh, what am I saying? For goodness sakes, brain stop it! Heidi, I'm home. Hi, babe. How was work? It was fine. So, have you picked out your wedding dress yet? Uh, nope. Still? I'm waiting till I find the perfect dress, okay? But according to Gwen, I'm apparently just picky. Which is not true! Uh, it kind of is. It's not! Okay, okay, it isn't. So, I'm guessing you haven't made dinner or anything? What do I look like? A chef? Uh, no, not taken. Pizza delivery it is, then. Yay! I'll go order it now. Hello? Can I order a pepperoni pizza, please? See? My fiancé is absolutely amazing! I don't even know why I was even bothered about that stupid jerk Tristan! Why I'm still bothered! You know what, Brain? From now on, you're just going to think of productive things! So tomorrow, I'm going to go back to the bridal shop and make sure to buy a dress! Then I'll buy some groceries and make dinner once I get home! And from then on, I'll only focus on planning the wedding! Yes, that's exactly what I'll do! Uh, what sort of pizza do you want? Meat feast and... Wait, I'm gonna tell you the rest! I finally picked a dress! Gwen is going to be so mad that I picked the dress without her! Now, time to buy the dress! Why are we announcing this instead of just doing it? Wait, what's even the price of this thing? No. Oh boy, <laughs> it's probably like five million dollars. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not even going to bother reading that out. Wow, I'm never buying any clothing that expensive ever again! Oh. <gasps> what is up with you? I haven't seen you in two years! Two years! And now suddenly I see you everywhere I go! What do you even want from me? Look, you don't understand what happened that night you found me cheating on you. So he admits it. <gasps> wait, yeah, he was like, wait, did he admit she it? She was trying to surprise him, and then she walked in on him cheating on her with the other, Bruh. and now he's like, wait, 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 I was cheating on you, but let me just explain it a little further. Isn't what you think? I didn't want to cheat on you with her. In fact, after you broke up with me in that day, I cried almost every night. I felt so lost without you. Uh, then why did you go and start dating Millie and then later propose to her? She forced me. What? She forced you? How did she force you to date and propose to her? You're your own person. You make those sorts of decisions yourself. My mother was dying, Heidi. She needed surgery. Surgery I couldn't afford to pay. And Millie told me that she would pay for everything. Only with the exception that I'd date her and fall in love with her in return. And I had no choice. I didn't want to lose my mother, Heidi. I couldn't lose her. Why didn't you ever tell me any of this? I could have maybe tried to help. Because I knew you were already struggling with money. I didn't want to be even put more financial troubles on you than you already had. But then, why 
Why did you propose to her? I didn't. She proposed to me, and I felt inclined to say yes. So, so what? Why are you telling me all this now? Because my mother has gone through her surgery and she's okay now. There's no reason for me to stay with Millie anymore. We can be together again. I don't know about that, Tristan. I'm pretty sure she would want to stay with you forever. Right, right. There might be more to this story we don't know about. But what a scumbag to also go back on that deal. Be like, all right, cool. Deal's done. My mom's good. So anyways. Wait, are we still good? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Don't you miss me? No! Our relationship, uh, our love story. I did! Until I met Joaquin. Sorry, Tristan, but we can't be together again. I'm getting married soon. I have a new lover now. I understand. But I hope we could still remain friends, though. I don't want to lose you forever. Sure, I guess. Would you possibly want to hang out tomorrow? At the coffee shop down the street? If you're free, of course. Sure! Great! See you tomorrow. I don't know about this. This seems really fishy. That's, yeah, that mighty <laughs> sus. Mighty sus. Red flags going up everywhere. Everywhere. What did I get myself into? The next day. <laughs> I see you made it. Yep. Uh, can we talk first? You know, before we start ordering and all. Uh, sure. What do you want to talk about? Us. I want to talk about the relationship we had together right now. I know we're not dating or anything, and we never will, but I just wanted you to know I still consider you to be a great friend. If you ever go through anything with your fiancé, or need some sort of help for something one day, just know you can always come to me. I'll be there for you. Thanks, Tristan. No problem. Hello, can I take your order? Yes, can I have... And from that day onwards, I'd go hang out with him every day at the coffee shop. Oh, no. <laughs> what? No, Wait, come what about on. her fiancé? Does she not spend time with him every come day? On. No, this whole okay, this whole time she's like, okay, I know I have a fiancé. Sorry, I'm not going to hang out with you at all. And she, I was like, okay, cool. She's actually got some backbone to her. I was questioning her, like, at least, like, meeting up with him at first. But I was like, okay, she could still, like, show him and be like, listen, this was, like, a one-time thing. We're done after this. I don't know why I continue to go because this is gotcha logic apparently maybe because i really enjoyed the time we spent at the coffee shop together but regardless i'd still feel really guilty whenever i'd go out to hang with him i feel like in some way i was betraying joaquin by doing this because you most definitely were basically but since tristan was just so nice and thoughtful whenever we hung out i continued to go i really enjoyed the time we'd spent together and i wasn't planning on ending it anytime soon till one fateful day uh oh doesn't sound like good news there now I'm ready to go and meet up with Tristan. <gasps> that must be Tristan. He might have came so he could drive me over to the coffee shop. Coming. Why did you come over to my house? I just thought we were going to meet up at the coffee shop like we always do. Uh-oh. What coffee shop? <gasps> uh, Gwen. What brings you here? Your wedding, silly. You still haven't picked which church you want to hold the wedding at and the cutlery you want to use, etc. Oh, yeah. So today we should go out and try to get as many things done for your wedding as possible. Possible. Oh, I'd love to, but I can't. I have to meet up with a friend in a few more minutes. A friend? Which friend? If they were a real friend, they wouldn't mind if you cancel on them for today to plan your wedding. Because you realize it's in a month, right? Have you even sent out the wedding invitations to everyone you're inviting? Uh-uh. Hired a priest to officiate at your wedding ceremony? Also, no. Girl, what have you been doing this past month then? Cheating on her fiancé? Who even is this friend you're hanging out with? Uh, tell me! Tristan. Tristan? You've been hanging out with your ex-boyfriend instead of planning your wedding? Are you insane? Why? Exes can become friends, you know. But he cheated on you with Millie, and now he's getting married to her. Why would you befriend him after that? Because he didn't want to cheat. Millie forced him to. Millie forced him to? You really believe that pathetic lie? Exactly, that was my thoughts. Exactly, like, he could be just yeah. lying just to get on your good side and then cheating it's on his now soon to be fiance as well oh my goodness right? why <laughs> yeah i would go straight to millie and be like hey just reaching out how are you doing so how are you and tristan doing and exactly like honestly i wouldn't even go that route i would just like avoid him block at all costs <laughs> right yeah 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 any normal person would be like oh you want to hang out okay uh yeah sorry no and you clearly haven't gotten over tristan since he cheated on you otherwise you wouldn't be hanging out with him every day at a bloody coffee shop you'd be planning your wedding and doing something useful instead i will plan my wedding i still have time left and i can still hang out with a friend in the meanwhile whatever do what you want but just know that you're only destroying your relationship for some lying jerk by doing this so don't blame me when things go terribly wrong and he breaks your heart again as you've already been warned yes oh my gosh once again her best friend is just the voice of logic yes so 
much drama. Meet me at the rooftop on the coffee shop. The rooftop? Why does he want me to meet me at the rooftop? <gasps> What's the worst that can happen? You might fall off the roof? <laughs> what the? What is all of this? Just felt like giving a pretty lady a pretty surprise. That's all. Thank you. But I thought I made it clear to you that we aren't getting back together. Uh, I know, but friends can still give each other surprises. Yeah, that's true. Three hours later? Oh, God. Where's Joaquin and all this? <laughs> thank you for your incredible surprise. And just thank you for everything today. Today was a lot of fun. You're welcome. So, I'll meet you at the coffee shop tomorrow, same time. Yep, see you then. <laughs> <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no, he saw it. <gasps> I knew that was gonna happen yeah it was it was bound to happen see ya he made sure that the other guy joaquin saw that uh, joaquin? oh hi there heidi want to know what i did today well first i went to work and then once i finished i went to a ton of places and booked the wedding venue signed the tables chose the cutlery hired a priest etc all for our wedding really Yes. Want to know why? Because Gwen informed me that you had done none of that in this past month like you said you would. Does she even work? Like, what does she do yeah. all day? She just hangs Honestly, out at the coffee shop all day? Weddings, you can't exactly just send out, like, an invitation a month beforehand and expect yeah. people to, like, show up to that. I mean, I don't know, but, like, yeah, that's something you plan, like, at least a year in advance. Right, or, like, or at least, like, a couple months, right? And you get everything set up, and then you send out the invitation. It's not, like, just a, all right, cool, so, yeah, we're gonna have a wedding. I might we're as well just sit around and just, like, do it the night before. Just so you know. <laughs> right. So, I had to go and do all that myself last minute with a friend. And the best part, seeing you hug your ex-boyfriend on the way home, that was just the cherry on top. <laughs> so, tell me, if you didn't do anything for the wedding, what have you been doing for this past month? Exactly! Uh, I've been... I've been hanging out with Tristan. You've been hanging out with your ex who cheated on you? He was forced to cheat on me! His mother was dying, and Melly was only willing to pay for her surgery if he got with her instead! Why is she believing all of these lies? He used that old my mother was dying trick, and you believe him? How dare you! He wouldn't lie about his mother's health! Why wouldn't he? He's been lying about everything lately to distract you from me and the wedding! There is literally one month left till the wedding, and you haven't even booked the venue! What the heck is wrong with you? Are you not ready to marry me? Is that it? No, of course not! Then what? Are you still in love with him? What? Are you? I... I think I need some time alone. Uh, what? I'm sorry, but if you can't trust me with him, I think I'll need some time by myself. But what are you going to do? There's only a month left till the wedding. And I'll be back before then. But what if you're not? Then you know what that means. Goodbye, Joaquin. Wow. Okay. Yeah, no, she's helpless. Absolutely helpless. Wait! What did I just do? Make bad decisions. <laughs> Tristan, it's me, Heidi. Could I possibly stay over at your place for the month? No. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> and here are some pillows and a blanket. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you. So, why did you ask me to stay over at my house? Because my fiancé and I got into a fight and I just needed some time alone. Ah, I see. Well, would you like me to keep you company? Sure. So, where's Millie? Oh, I brought broke up with her. How convenient. Right. What? Why? I thought you guys were getting married. Uh, we were. But these past months made me realize that I love you, Heidi. I can't believe I ever let you walk away. So many lies. I love you. And I need you. <gasps> no! But I don't feel the same way back. I have a fiancé now. Whether we're on bed terms or not, he's still my fiancé. I, I respect that. Do you? But just know I'll never stop fighting for your love, Heidi. No matter what. Uh, good night. That's awkward. Yeah, and then yeah, she's just gonna here. go don't, to sleep. No, no. Get a hotel. Get I know, something. Right? Don't, don't sleep. Stay there. One month later, one day before the wedding. Okay, come on, Joaquin. <laughs> Joaquin, please, my man. You gotta, you gotta move on. This is, this isn't working out. <laughs> I don't want to. Whether I should go to the wedding, 
I don't know. <laughs> Only you know what decision you should make. Don't let your friend push her opinions onto you. You must choose what you feel is right. But he just kissed her out of, like, not even with any permission or anything. Seriously? I, I was rooting for Heidi, like, this whole time. Like, okay, yeah, she can progress. She can make a decision. Now it's just like, all right, you know, I'm rooting for Joaquin and Gwen. Thanks, Tristan. I'm going to go down to the lake and get some fresh air. Bye. No, I can't do this. But you already cheated on your fiance <laughs> twice. Exactly. I know the right decision. I know what I need to do. I need to go back to Joaquin because that's who I really love. Or do you? Even though Tristan was nice. I can't believe that idiot really thinks I like her again. Huh? I know her fiance has a lot of money and she has some of that money. Once that idiot chooses to be with me, I'll take it all and I can buy whatever I want and dump. <gasps> oh, that must be Millie. Hi, babe. Uh, really, Tristan? Really? Uh, I thought you left to go to the lake. Yeah, and I came back to pack up my things to leave because I picked my fiance, not you. And thank goodness I did because clearly you haven't changed the bits. What are you doing here? I should be asking you that since Tristan told me he broke up with you. What? I'm his fiance. He didn't dump me. Oh, well, what he told me was that he was only with you since you forced him in return for paying for his mother's surgery. What surgery? I didn't pay for any surgery. Oh, and I've also been living here for the past month since Tristan told me he broke up with you now. How did she not find that out? Yeah, okay. I guess people just must be extremely busy what? because... <laughs> I guess that you could live in someone else's yeah. home for a month and be someone's fiance and, you and don't never even know, know about like, it. Your fiance? Wait, like, don't fiancés like usually live with each other anyway? I'm so confused. I don't get it. You invited her over whilst I was visiting my family back in Ireland. Oh, okay, okay there that is. makes more sense. <laughs> wow, he's such a player. Dude, I know. Yeah, Tristan, man. Oh my gosh, I respect <laughs> the game, but come on. She's lying, babe. I don't know what she's talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. What was right. You're an evil pig. Thankfully, you weren't able to break my heart this time. But I know you'll break many others in the future. Just know, Millie, he's already kissed me once this month and once today. Uh, uh, she's lying. Believe what you want, but who did he cheat on with the first time? Exactly. I may hate you, but I'd rather you get better than stay with him and get worse. Now, I'll be going to the one I truly love. I'm glad I kept the receipt for this dress. I never liked it. I rushed buying it. I'm going to get something new and start everything fresh. Whether it's too late or not. The she next She kept day... the dress for a whole month and she wants to return it yeah, after don't, a month? Don't, it's like a 30 day <laughs> return policy. How, dude, okay, Joaquin, power to you, man. You put on this whole wedding, showed up, and are waiting at the altar. <laughs> and you haven't the, seen yeah, your fiance she's for there. a whole month. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so loyal. She does not deserve him. <laughs> Did Heidi message you today? Nope. She he didn't message me either. I've been stood up on my wedding day. Nice. Hey, don't be sad. I'm sure she'll be here soon. Now the official wedding shall start and the bride must walk down the aisle. Oh gosh, save me. And <laughs> there the bride is right now. Uh, Heidi, I thought you weren't going to come. And miss my own wedding? I'm stupid, but not that stupid. <laughs> and I'm in love with Joaquin. Why would I miss out on the opportunity of marrying you? Although this past month has been rough for us, all it made me realize was that you are the only man I truly love and will ever love. I can't wait till we're officially tied together forever. Me too. Do you, Joaquin, take Heidi to be your beloved wife till death do you part? I do. And do you, Heidi, take Joaquin to be your beloved husband till death do you part? I do. Well, with the power invested in me today, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Yes! My ship will never sink. So wow. that's how it ends? How does Joaquin not think, like, she might just, like, cheat on him again? Exactly, exactly. And the fact that the wedding still went on, I mean, <laughs> I, I cannot imagine what you would tell the guests. Like, all right, yeah, the, the bride's not here, but it's okay because she'll show up. Trust me. Maybe. Like, oh, and the fact that Gwen is also, like, doesn't know either, that's like... Yeah, she doesn't know that, like, she was cheating on him the whole time. Yeah, exactly. This whole situation, I mean, like, Joaquin does not deserve Heidi, and Heidi does not deserve Joaquin for being no. so loyal. Like, I thought fault. for sure that Joaquin would get with Gwen after all this. Yeah, I know, me too. I was like, okay, so obviously the two only, like, quote-unquote good characters in the entire story yeah, the two are, with, like, left with single. Yeah, the brain. <laughs> Apparently it was 
was somewhat of a happy ending. So that was I'll Never Be Her Part 2. I will have the original video in the description down below by Lily Truscott MSP. Thank you so much to Nate for joining me today and doing the boy voices. No problem. Had a blast. So I will have his social media links in the description as well. Definitely go ahead and check them out. Let us know what other gotcha stories you'd like to see us do next. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you're new, subscribe to Come Mermaid or Merman. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.